Late at night, kiss me in the morning or late at night. Long as you come through, I'ma make it come over and over. I'ma treat you like I'm supposed to. Hi guys, I'm back again with another daily reading and channeled song. And that was a song that I heard for you by Roddy Rich and it's called Late at Night. So, yeah. so we're starting this reading with the Two of Swords and straight away I've got star card vibes here. I haven't pulled the star card but yeah that's what vibe I'm feeling here like you're dealing with some kind of star or celebrity. I feel like this could be your energy because this is water energy but I feel like you're dealing with another water sign too could be Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio but with these two of swords I feel like this person has chose you yeah they picked you out of everyone they could be famous that's what I'm hearing here I feel like you could be a friend of this person too I feel like you know who this person is but you just don't know that they could possibly be the other half of your soul your twin you're supposed to meet this person in your life but you don't know that this is your twin that's what i'm seeing here what this person does this water sign does that's what i'm hearing they know that they're your twin flame and they've picked you out of everyone in the world that's what i'm hearing here they chose you so next i've got the seven of pentacles and this person is trying to manifest you yeah they're calling you in that's what i'm hearing here this person has their eyes on you they know that they're your twin that's what i'm hearing this is a real skilled magician that's what i'm hearing too this person is skilled in whatever field they work in they're definitely a celebrity that's what i'm hearing with this card i feel like they're a star i'm definitely seeing stars here but I feel like this person could have had many options, but they picked you. They know you're their twin and they're calling you. Could be sending you songs, music I'm hearing. They could be, you know, daydreaming about you, envisioning you daily, meditating on your energy. You know, they could be, you know, traveling towards you in the astral realms. I'm hearing that too. But this person has definitely picked you. And I feel like this person wants to share their whole world with you. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, this person could have a moustache, could have a beard. That's what I'm seeing here too. Yeah, so with the three of swords in reverse, like I said, I feel like this person's watching you. You could be single right now. But you could have a lot of male attention, that's what I'm seeing here. And I heard that in the song too. This person doesn't want you to F with anyone else, that's what I'm seeing here. This person's hoping and praying that, you know, you don't end up sleeping with anyone else because they're trying to manifest you right now. And they're worried, I feel a bit of stress in this reading. Like they're stressing over whether you're going to, you know, sleep with someone else or find another partner. They're just worried about you, you know, moving forward in life and not noticing that they're watching and calling you. That's what I'm hearing. Like I said, this person's sending songs your way. You could see signs, synchronicities, things like that. Yeah, they're definitely trying to communicate with you. Could be via social media too. But I feel like you haven't noticed this person's watching you. This person could like your posts a lot. Could like your pictures. Could like your videos if you're online. You know, on a public platform like YouTube. This person's watching you every single day. That's what I'm hearing. And you have no idea, you haven't noticed them, you haven't noticed that this person is falling for you. That's what I'm hearing. This person has fallen in love with you from, you know, 
from just seeing your pictures daily. They're just, you know, they, they're really craving your attention right now. But I feel like they're waiting for you patiently because, you know, I feel like you're going through some kind of, you know, things in life. So you could be the kind of person who focuses on materialistic kind of a lifestyle. You could be, you know, high maintenance, I'm hearing. The type of female who's always getting her nails done, hair done. You know, you focused on your outer body instead of your inner self. So this person could be waiting for you to, you know, discover your inner self and, you know, give your inner self the self-love and self-care and attention that you need for this new beginning to come in for you. I feel like this person has crossed their heart with your name. You know, they've got their fingers crossed too, that you'll come into their direction. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel like they're looking at you, but you, you're not looking at them. That's what I'm seeing here. You haven't noticed. So it's time to start, you know, daydreaming, visioning them, seeing, you know, who this person is, asking God who they are, because this person wants a new beginning with you. That's what I'm hearing here. Because you're the empress, that's what I'm seeing here. You're someone with inner and outer beauty. This person thinks you're beautiful. I feel like, yeah, you're a nurturing, kind, loving, gentle female, and that's what they're looking for. A real queen, that's what they want to see. Inner and outer beauty you have. You know, you've just got some work to do on your outer self and realize, you know, that looking natural, natural beauty is the key. That's what I'm hearing too. This person doesn't mind if you have your nails done. This person doesn't mind if you, you know, wear a tiara or have your latest weave done. This person just wants you. This person thinks you're beautiful without makeup, without, you know, material things. That's what I'm seeing here, vanity. This person's waiting for you to let go of that kind of life and come into your true light self. That's what I'm seeing here. Because you are the empress and that's why they're calling you in. That's what I'm hearing. You're a twin. You're a twin flame. You're the other half of this person's soul. Yeah, this person's constantly watching you, daydreaming about you, envisioning you, tra traveling through time to see you. That's what I'm hearing. This person cannot get you off their mind. I also feel like you're in the public eye too, so you could be into, you know, like, you know, tarot reading, you could be, you know, a, a psychic, some kind of person who delivers messages, that's what I'm seeing here, you could have like an Instagram where you post, you know, like quotes, memes, stuff like that, but to do with spirituality, to, be, to do with being awake to do with being a light being that's what i'm seeing this person you know they can't take their eyes off you you're definitely in the public eye too so i'm getting this person could be watching you every single day and you don't even know that's what i'm hearing here yeah like i said this person's waiting for you to do something to complete some kind of mission in life and I feel like you could be, you know, the type of person who always has to look like they're on fleek all the time. Like, this person's waiting for you to let go of that life. And like I said, step into a natural state. You know, the natural state you was born in. Yeah, this person's waiting for you to let go of a lot of shit. That's what I'm seeing here. They're waiting patiently wondering what you're doing today what you're doing tomorrow you could be you know you could be the type who posts like videos about like makeup you could be a makeup artist you could be doing hair i see you the type of person who you know 
like cells, beauty products, those kind of things. That's what they're seeing in you here. But I feel like you have a higher purpose than this with the Empress card. I feel like you're meant to be, you know, a team with this person, like a power couple, like, you know, divine, you're divine, that's what I'm hearing with this card. And it's time to let go of material things, that's what I'm seeing here. Because this is the only thing that's holding you back from this person. When you realise that needing nothing attracts more into your life, you know, that's when you, you know, that's when I feel like this person is going to come into your life. This person has a plan, that's what I'm seeing here. This person has already planned how they're going to execute this, you know, this, this meeting or how they're going to, you know, come towards you. This person has already planned everything, that's what I'm seeing here. And this person's a type who, you know, likes to plan things, who likes to take control, you know, in in a relationship, who likes to, you know, not overpower the relationship, but be equal, but plan in advance. This person has planned how they're going to step towards you. That's all I'm hearing. They know exactly when and how this is going to happen already. It's just that you don't know. And it's time to meditate, to go within, to, you know, daydream, to time travel towards this person. So like I said, asking God who they are will, you know, reveal this person to you. And then you can start traveling towards them too. This is beautiful, Pisces. This person isn't playing around with the King of Swords. This person means what they say, does what they say. That's what I'm hearing here. This person is really falling for you. You make them happy. They just have to see your picture, feel your energy. That's what I'm seeing here. And this person's face lights up bright with the biggest smile you've ever seen. So I ask for some clarity on the whole situation. And with the Ace of Swords, I feel like, yeah, this new beginning hasn't come in yet. But like I said, it's going to come in. This person's waiting patiently for you to discover your inner self, to heal, to work on you. To let go of anything that doesn't serve your highest good. Because this person wants to be in your life. This person wants to give you a child, a family, a new healthy start with no bullshit, no lies, no manipulation, no nothing that you've ever experienced before. This person wants to give you some real true shit. And not to mention, they want to go hard with you in every single way. But I just feel like this person is, you know, so attracted to you. They just cannot stop thinking about you. Cannot stop travelling towards you. Cannot stop sending music in your direction. And they're waiting for you to hear it. They're waiting for you to hear them. This is beautiful. You have a twin flame, Pisces. You've been chosen. That's what I'm hearing. And this is your reading. So I hope this helps you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And check the description box for other ways to connect with me. Bye, guys.